Did you know that Google just released a brand new AI tool that you can upload your videos to before you upload them to YouTube and it is going to give you feedback on your editing, on your storytelling, and what you need to do to improve the audience retention on that video. Or maybe you didn't know that there's a new AI tool that you can actually use to predict how many views you're gonna get on YouTube before you actually upload. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing compared to the seven AI tools I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video because if you're not using these tools in 2025, you are going to get left behind because if you don't use them, your competitors are going to use them. They're going to make better content from you. They're going to spend less time creating and ultimately they're going to get the success on YouTube that you want. In fact, this creator right here just used these tools to gain over 300,000 subscribers and this creator used them to gain over 120,000 subscribers. The same exact thing can happen to you so long as you use these tools. AI tool number one is going to be Google AI Studio. This is going to be the tool that you can literally upload videos to and ask for feedback on them, but there are a few things you need to know. First and foremost, all you have to do is come to aistudio.google.com. You want to come over to create prompt right here. Under system instructions, you can give it specific things in regards to how you want it to respond, like the tone and style and different instructions for the model. On top of that, if we come over here, we can change the temperature. Ideally, you want this to be two because it's going to be the most creative and then on top of that you want to come over here to this model and make sure you're using Gemini 2.0 flash experimental because this is going to be Gemini's newest model which is going to give you the best response here now this is the prompt that I'm using I am making a YouTube video that pitches my program about how to grow on TikTok can you please give me feedback on it I want to maximize the audience retention on this video be specific around certain points that can improve from an editing and storytelling perspective then all I did was click right here I went into my Google Drive and I actually up this video. Now, all we have to do is click run here, and this is absolutely insane. This is going to give me exact feedback on this video before I ever upload it to YouTube. For example, it gives me general observations, it gives me editing and presentation, it gives me a call to action, it gives me slides information, narrative and messaging, and a bunch of things around there. And then at the bottom, it summarizes this. For example, I'm not using enough visual aids. I need to strengthen the narrative. And then what you can do is you can literally go through through and say, can you please expand on this point that you made? Or can you give me more info around adding in urgency tactics or enhancing my guarantee? You take all this feedback and it's going to allow you to create a YouTube video without ever having to upload it. But that's just the first tool. This next tool is literally going to allow you to create AI generated music for any theme, for any video, and to create any mood. And what I'm talking about is Suno.com. Essentially, all you have to do is literally just come in here, you type in a prompt, you create a song, and this is going to create AI-generated music that you don't have to worry about copyright strikes or anything like that. And then this is also going to show you a bunch of other songs. For example, there are trending playlists, there are top categories here, and you could even give it a prompt like, please make me a futuristic song that is going to make my viewers scared. And then guess what? You will now have a song that is going to be super, super specific to exactly what you're posting about. And you can even right here pick a style or you could roll the dice in order to explore new sounds and new songs. And you could come into create or come into library and you can make your own music here. And this is an absolute game changer because now you don't have to try to find stock music that fits the theme or the mood that you want because you can literally create your own with AI. Now, if you're one of those creators that really struggles with creating thumbnails, you are really going to love this next tool because it's an absolute game changer. And what I'm talking about is going to be pixels.com. Now, the only tool that I like from them is going to be their thumbnail generator because personally, I think it's really good. Their discover content ideas section, I don't think is really good at all, but this right here, where you can literally prompt them to create certain thumbnails, or you could create thumbnails from links, or you can sketch out thumbnails. This right here is incredibly helpful. And it's incredibly helpful because I know a lot of you are not graphic designers. And the reason you're not getting the views that you want to on YouTube because your thumbnails suck. But guess what? This tool is an absolute game changer and is going to make your life 100 times easier. In fact, you could click right here and you can actually try it for free. On top of that, if you come down here, you can see how you can actually enhance your thumbnails. For example, you could upload a photo and then you could have their AI thumbnail maker smoothly swap out the original face with 
your face. You could add in different images, you can add in different text, you can enhance thumbnails, and you can even edit thumbnails. Like you can upload a thumbnail and then just change the background on it. In fact, I do this with my thumbnails all the time. As you'll see, I use the same thumbnail very frequently, but change the text and then I just change out the color. And this is why I consistently get a lot of views on YouTube. And now you can do the same exact thing with pixels. Now there are four other AI tools that you need to make sure that you're using and they're only gonna get crazier and crazier, so make sure you don't skip any of these. The next tool we need to cover is going to be vidIQ. Now I like vidIQ for three reasons in specific. First and foremost, if we come into outliers right here, you could type in whatever topic you're gonna be creating content around. For example, I'm gonna type in AI tools right here. We can come under filters and we could change this to fit certain criteria or we could even do long form videos or shorts. We could click search right here and then this is gonna show me all of the trending content for AI tools. But the power of vidIQ doesn't stop there. In addition to that, when we come over to YouTube itself, we're gonna see how many views per hour certain videos are getting. And guess what this is going to do? This is going to increase the odds that we know what topics are actually trending on YouTube and we're gonna be able to compare different topics to see which ones would get a lot of views. For example, let's say that I was going to be making a video about the YouTube algorithm. I could type in YouTube algorithm right here and then I'm gonna be able to see how many views per hour all of these different videos are getting. And this is going to give me a good idea for how many views I could personally get or at least tell me how many views I should be expecting to get. And then the final thing that I love about vidIQ is they actually have an AI description generator where you can type in here what keywords you want your video to rank for and it is going to create you a perfect description. In addition to that, they tell you what time to post on your channel and if we come down here, you'll see that they actually rank tags so you can see what tags you should be using in your content and you'll see recommended tags down here that they recommend that you use based on how many views those tags could potentially help you get on YouTube. Then one other bonus thing that I really love because comments matter so much on YouTube right now is you can literally come into comments and you can generate a reply with vidIQ using AI and this really speeds up how long it takes to respond to comments and they have several different themes here. General, humorous, thankful, witty, informal and I actually use this tool all the time in order to respond to comments on YouTube. And today's your lucky day because if you go to the pinned comment below, you can get started today with vidIQ for just $1 for the next 30 days. Again, this is an absolute no-brainer. They're going to allow you to come up with better content ideas, see which videos you should actually create, do perfect descriptions, perfect tags, and even reply to comments all using AI. And I'd strongly recommend that you use it. In fact, I never would have gained over 790,000 subscribers if I hadn't been using vidIQ this whole time, which is why I'd strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below, register for 30 days access to vidIQ for just $1. It's an absolute no-brainer. It's going to help increase your views, increase your subscribers, and ultimately help you get monetized on YouTube. Now, the next tool you need to make sure that you're using is ChatGPT, but not just any basic version of ChatGPT. You need to make sure that you are using projects in ChatGPT. As you can see right here, I have one for YouTube titles, I have one for YouTube scripts, and I have one for YouTube thumbnails. Why do I have it for all of these? Because if you click into projects right here, for example, where you're going to put in new YouTube video, I'm going to be able to click create project here, and then I'm going to be able to customize ChatGPT for the specific project that I wanted to work on. So if we come into here, you are going to see a few different things. One, I can add in different instructions here. This is where you tell ChatGPT you want it to be a YouTube genius. It's where you tell it that you want it to be very high creativity and it's where you give it a bunch of custom instructions. In addition to that, I can add files here. Guess what I should add in? I should add in all my competitor scripts. I should add in all of their titles. I should add in all of their thumbnails. I should add in all the information that I have for the video that I'm gonna be creating. Or if I'm doing YouTube thumbnails, I would upload all the successful thumbnails within my niche. Or if I'm doing YouTube scripts, I would upload all the successful scripts within my niche. If I'm doing YouTube titles, again, all the successful titles within my niche or on my own page. And then this trains ChatGPT on all of that data and it allows ChatGPT to give you way better responses so that you're not just getting generic responses when it comes to titles, thumbnails, or even your scripts on ChatGPT. Using this project feature is an absolute game changer and is going to 10X results that you're getting from ChatGPT because if you're not using this, you're just gonna get generic answers and this is an absolute game changer. 
Now there still are two more tools that we need to go through and I cannot emphasize this enough. These next tools are incredibly important because if you are ignoring these next two tools, you're gonna be missing out on two essential things that you need to do in every single YouTube video if you want it to be successful. This next tool right here is going to be Sora. Now with Sora, you can do several different things. For example, we could change the aspect ratio here. We could come in here and change the resolution. We can change how long this is going to be, and we can change how many different variations it's going to create. Now, what you want to use Sora for, and you just come to Sora.com, is you want to use this to create B-roll. For example, let's say that I was doing something and I needed a donkey riding on an elephant. I am going to come in here and type in donkey riding on elephant, and then what this is going to do is it's going to give me several different variations so obviously you don't necessarily have to do that what you could actually do is just upload your youtube script on here and then guess what if you upload your youtube script and click create video it can create you b-roll you can now use in your content if you're uploading youtube shorts you can make a few of these that go along with the voiceover that you have for your video and guess what this is going to create a high resolution video that looks absolutely nuts looks absolutely realistic and you'll be able to use this in your content to increase your views because if you aren't using b-roll within your content on YouTube in 2025, you are going to get left behind because nobody wants to sit there and see you talk the whole time. They want to see things popping up on the screen. They want to see tutorials like I'm doing here. And if you're not doing this, it's going to kill your average audience retention, which will mean that YouTube won't share your content to more people because it's one of the most important things that YouTube is actually focused on. So now look at this. Look at how insanely realistic this is. This right here has a donkey riding on an elephant. And guess what? This right here also is a donkey riding on an elephant. This is nuts. This looks insanely realistic. And again, you can just put your script for your video in here and get insane B-roll for this. This is nuts. I cannot believe that this created this. And it looks this good and it's even set in Africa. I could have set them on the moon. I could have done anything that I wanted to do. Which brings me to the last and most important AI tool, because if you're uploading videos on YouTube Shorts and you're not using this tool, or at least using this feature, you're gonna get left behind. Now, before I show you the tool, I wanna see if you can actually see the tool in action. So, this video right here, it has it. This video right here, it has it. This video right here has it, and so does this video right here. And the tool that I'm talking about is gonna be using a tool like Captions AI. What Captions AI is going to let you do, it is it's going to let you do several different things. First and foremost, it's going to allow you to add subtitles into your content. Next, it's going to allow you to fix the eye contact that is on your content. It's going to allow you to remove background noise, and it's even going to allow you now to create an AI avatar generator if you don't wanna show up in your own content. Now, if you want to learn exactly how to use AI in order to get more views on your content, make more money from social media while spending less time creating content, I strongly suggest that you go to the description below right now and get into my AI tools for content creators program. Why? Because I literally walk through several different tutorials on several different tools that I didn't mention in this video and I update the program every single week. If you want to spend less time creating content, you want to get AI to do more of the work, you want to automate a lot of your content creation, you're not going to want to miss out on going to the description below and getting into this program right now because I literally walk you through not just what tools to use but also give you tutorials on exactly what you need to do. This includes things like chat GPT prompts, different tools that you can use, how you can save time and ultimately how to increase your views and make better content while spending less time creating content because if you're not taking advantage of the AI tools that every other creator is using in 2025, you're going to get left behind. Otherwise, I'd strongly suggest that you check out this video right here that shows you the three different ways I can work with you one-on-one -on -one in order to guarantee that you grow on YouTube in 2025. So that sounds interesting. Click this video right here and I'll see you over there.